know it's Wednesday Wisdom Wednesday with MPK Greetings and welcome to episode 35 of Wisdom Wednesday with MPK. I'm Dawn, DawnieRobinBobbin.com if you want to find me on the internet. And my voice is not 100% today. I got some kind of little bug or something going around. So why not, since it's National Disease Day, read you a poem about a disease? So I've got this poem I wrote. It's called Emotional Leprosy. <clears throat> so here I am, diseased, and I'm going to read this disease poem. God's got a sense of humor. I just love him so much. But uh, this poem comes from a couple of scriptures. One is Proverbs 18.1. So in Proverbs 18, 1, it says, A man who isolates himself seeks his own desire. He rages against all wise judgment. Don't isolate yourself in your pain. It's so tempting. The devil loves to get people off on their own so he can just gnaw, 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 gnaw on death. But God wants his sheep to stay in the fold. And he wants his sheep to stay in the light. So the other scripture that this poem comes from is 1 John, 4, 7, uh, 1 John chapter 1, verse 4 through 7. And I want to sing it to you, even though my voice is not great today. I'm going to sing it anyway. Why not? It's 1 John. I do this scripture memory song with my uh, Sunday school kids. I am a big fan of scripture memory. So I sing a lot of scripture. So this one is kind of upbeat. <coughs> okay, I'm really sorry. I'm going to try to sing it. I'm going to do the best I can. This is a message we have heard from him. This is a message we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. And here's a chorus. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. This is a message we have heard from him. This is a message we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Now we go to the bridge, which is verse 4. These things I write to you that your joy may be full. These things I write to you that your joy may be full. These things I write to you that your joy may be full. These things I write to you that your joy may be full. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Cleanses us from all sin. Cleanses us from all sin kind of catchy at the end. Yeah, so uh, 1 John 1, 4 through 7. God is calling us to walk in the light as he is in the light. And what happens when we walk in the light is we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus cleanses from all sin. So that is some of the scriptures that are uh, and inspired this poem, Emotional Leprosy. And also, I have a chemistry and a biology. I have a biology background with a chemistry. Writer. So I had microbiology and biochemistry and and um, all this crazy stuff back in my college days. 
And so sometimes all, all of that microbiology stuff still it seeps back out into my poetry. So emotional leprosy, here we go. Leprosy is horrible when comparing diseases. Before modern medicine, the only hope of a cure was Jesus. Myobacterium leprae is a slow-growing bacterial culprit. It affects the nerves in a specific way, stealing sensation bit by bit damaging your nerves, your respiratory tract, your skin, your eyes, so you won't feel pain from your injured limbs or stubbed toes pleading cries, leading to infections that fester with no pain alarm to say, ouch, protect me, causing perpetual sores that won't go away. Lepers were feared. Their disease was catchy. No one wanted to be near for fear of becoming equally wretchy, banished to the land of unclean, rejected and detestable, to die a hopeless, slow death alone, wholly unacceptable. There's a modern epidemic with a known cause, unforgiveness, left to fester, perpetually put on pause, breaks open to oozing bitterness, crippling a life for years, emotional, leprosy, isolated tears, left in a prison of victim, filled with darkness, torment, fears. There is a cure in sight in this modern age. Physical lepers can take a multi-drug treatment, insisting leprosy take a hike, giving lives a new chapter with a fresh page. Emotional lepers are no different. There is a capital S solid, capital R rock cure. Jesus of Nazareth tells you to wash in the fountain of his blood so pure, pure enough to heal the clinging stench of death lingering. Freedom is already accomplished at the cross. Why wait? Savoring the devil's comforting whispering. Flee his lies and unending hate. Run to the Savior. He can make you clean. He can set you free from your toxic behavior. Make him your Lord, Master, and King. Surrender all and stop controlling, chasing everyone away with your manipulative conjoling. Surrender your fear, fear to faith. A plan that will play out way better than wasting your life alone as an emotional leper. Well, God has health for his body. He is calling us to, to get violent on those sick areas of our soul. And it is up to us to run to the cross. He already paid the price for freedom. It's our job as we embark upon this great plan of sanctification in Christ to be made holy, agreeing with God about his assessment of our condition, that we would be chastened by the Lord, that we would allow his chastening, to change us from the inside out. God doesn't want us to stay emotionally lepers or diseased Christians. He's calling us to holiness. And he's calling us to his light and his life. There is a world that is just buried in pain and buried in all other diagnoses. I think that the, I can't believe the psychology manual, the D, I can't remember what it's called, the DSM. And it, 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 every year, I think we're on the fifth edition, and now it's like this thick of everybody's mental disorders. We're all mentally disordered. We're born that way. And the antidote is the cross. We have to go and let him heal our brains. We've got such, such broken thinking patterns sometimes. And God would heal us. He is the cure under the fountain of his blood. So pure. So if you're an emotional leper, I want to encourage you. There is hope. You do not have to remain an emotional leper. The cross happened. Jesus died on the cross 2,000 years ago to set you free, to set me free. And he is our healing and our hope. But we have to run to him. That's our job. Run to Jesus. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Hopefully my voice will be back by next week. But until then, you have a fantastic week. God bless you. Bye. You know it's Wednesday. Wisdom Wednesday with them.
Yeah.